Disclaimer, this video is just my opinion. Feel free to disagree or anything in the comments and don't get offended. Okay, thank you. So originally, I was going to make a video about the class, like how I normally do when I make these explained videos, you know, the scripting, editing, saying what's good and what's bad and all that stuff. I was getting the gameplay and then I see this. Heavy Cav Saber increased damage from 40 to 45. I thought, wow, that's pretty nice, a tiny little buff. And then I see this. Dragoon officers receiving calf pistols. I knew that was the nail in the coffin for this class. Why? I will explain why. The heavy cavalry as well. A heavy cavalry. They come with a cavalry pistol, a cavalry saber, and a heavy horse. The cavalry pistol is a close to mid-range firearm that has similar stats to a normal pistol, but has better accuracy due to the noticeable deviation compared to the pistol. The gun also has a slightly slower reload time compared to the normal pistol, and overall is just a better pistol. The heavy saber is a 3 hit kill weapon that deals 45 damage, 5 more than the normal saber. This weapon has also much more range and close combat which can help fight against sappers and other classes where you need to keep more distance. Gee Zerm, you really glossed quickly over this class, is there a reason why? Well, yes fellow viewer, there is a reason. It's because this class sucks. Before this update, Heavy Cavalry was the only class that was capable of using this pistol other than partisans but for some reason after this update dragoons can also use it so why would you ever want to use the heavy cavalry well the heavy cavalry does have a slightly better sword what's the point the sword is still a three hit kill against someone that's full the only way it'll be better is if someone on your team tells you the exact amount of hp that the enemy has which is very difficult another negative of this class is the horse itself the only positive is its higher hp which doesn't matter unless your horse tanks a pike hit which you shouldn't even be engaging against pikes in the first place another negative of this class is also its identity how are you supposed to use it by hopping off the horse shooting and then getting out reminds me of a certain class I don't know why but I can't put my finger on it the dragoon officer now with the cavalry pistol is essentially just a better heavy cavalry why would you ever run the heavy cav over the dragoon officer now and I find it funny that the heavy cavalry officer has the normal pistol instead of the cavalry one, as if they switched positions with the dragoon. All of this basically makes the heavy cavalry obsolete, which is hilarious because the class literally just launched a couple weeks ago. At this point, if you want to run a class with the heavy horse, just go for the cuirassier, which also comes with the cavalry sword as well. And while the cuirassier is super slow and doesn't come with a firearm, it makes up with its 33% melee reduction. Or if you want a firearm, just use the Dragoon. Because of the balance changes, the class has suffered so much and in my opinion needs a buff as soon as possible. So I came up with a couple ideas for buffs. So what kind of buffs would be best for this class? Buff idea number one, make the cavalry sword do more damage to horses, which can help it compete a bit more in cav versus calf situations since it already sucked in these scenarios. Idea number two, give the cavalry pistol more walk speed. The cavalry pistol currently has a 16 walk speed while the rifle has a 17 walk speed, which doesn't sound like much, but in game it means a lot, especially if you are chasing someone. I believe this pistol should be given a 17 walk speed. I know it's like a heavy version of the normal pistol, but I think it makes sense for it to be at least the same speed as an entire rifle. And finally, idea number three, revert the Dragoon officer buff. I still don't understand why the Dragoon officer receives this gun. It literally makes the heavy cav go from pretty below average to completely obsolete. Reverting the change will help the class stand out and help it more. So yeah, really sucks and this class really also does suck and it's such a shame because when the dev build of the game was public, I was really hopeful of this class and thought it would do well, but unfortunately, I was wrong. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think this class deserves a buff? Do you guys think it's fine? Or do you guys think I'm just yapping? Leave your thoughts down below. Also a reminder that this was, again, my opinion. When I finish every class in the Explain series, I'll make a final tier list for all of them, a remaster of my original one, so stay tuned for that. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.